So in this video, I will talk about how to set a rigged car to follow a path in Blender. This is actually simple, but just pay attention. By the way, this was rigged with Rig a Car Master Fix. You can check out how to rig a car here. Link in the description below. Let's first add a ground or a plane road. Next, let's add a path. Now let's guide this curve path however we want by editing it. So we go to edit mode to do this. We go to the top view, just to work on this better. Now we extrude and place the points in places we want to achieve a curve. What we create here is exactly the path we want the car to follow. I think I'm okay with this curve. So next, we go back to object mode, but we have to freeze transforms of this curve first by pressing Control A. I am gonna pick rotation since we only rotated this path when we added it here. Now let's select the rig and go to pose mode to add this path to the rig by using constraints. We're gonna add the constraint on the root of this rig. So here in the bone constraints, we're gonna choose follow path. Now let's add the curve path we created as the target. So here in the offset is where we control the movement of the car. With the fixed position option, we can only move the car from the start of the curve to the end of the curve. Nothing more, nothing less. but we don't need that here. I know the car is behaving weird along the path for now, but we will fix that later. Let's now animate the car by adding just two key points, one for start and the other for end. To add a key point, just press I, while your mouse is at the offset. Okay, it's working fine for now, as we play the animation.
So let's add ground sensitivity first before we fix the weird thing the car does along a curve. Oh, wow. That's weird. Seems like our car wants to fly. But don't panic, why it's behaving this way is because of the ground scaling. We need to freeze the ground's transforms to fix this. Now let's freeze the ground's transforms, especially the scale. See the scaling, it's just off. Now that's been fixed. Finally, let's fix the other thing. To do that, let's activate follow curve. The car now faces another direction, so we have to choose the negative Y axis to redirect the car again. Yep, yeah, there you go. Now it's following the path exactly as we wanted. But there's a problem still. The front tires are not steering right or left at all. That realism is lacking. To fix that, we have to bake the car steering wheel, which is done here. Now there's a change in the timeline. Let's play the animation again and see. Yeah, that's perfect. So that's pretty much it. This is how you animate a car to follow a path of your choice in Blender. If you have learned something from this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. That's if you haven't done that yet. Until I come again, keep nurturing in 3D.